In 2019, ransomware damage costs rose to $11.5 billion and a business fell victim to a ransomware attack every 14 seconds. Combining this with humans' terrible habit of reusing passwords, and we are in real need of some cloud protection. And I might just have some for you here. Coming up on this episode of the show, Windows Virtual Desktop is now generally available. Azure Sentinel finally reaches global general availability and some very helpful recommendations for Cosmos DB. This is Azure This Week, a show being edited entirely on Windows 7. You might have heard of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. What about desktop as a service? Hmm. This week, the Windows Virtual Desktop Service entered general availability globally. The new service delivers Windows apps remotely on client machines running Windows, Android, macOS, and iOS operating systems. It also works with HTML5-based web browsers. Windows Virtual Desktop is a different incarnation from past VDI approaches in that true Windows Desktop client operating systems gets used. With Windows 7 reaching end of life in January 2020, the new Windows Virtual Desktop will support Windows 7 until January 2023. So this is most likely a stopgap measure to get you to move to Windows 10, but try it out today. A security information and event management system, also called SIEM, work by gathering information from different sources such as OS, application, antivirus, database, HTs, or server logs, and analyzing these large quantities of data for anomalies or signs of a security incident. The new Azure SIEM is called Sentinel, and this week entered general availability. Sentinel already has a large third-party integration section and is so far also incredibly cheap compared to other SIEM offerings. One of the main features in Sentinel is the use of machine learning and artificial intelligence to analyze incoming data and adapt to evolving threats. I wonder if this means they use robot overlords to annihilate any potential threat. I've mentioned Azure Cosmos DB a few times on this show. This globally scaled, single millisecond latency, highly scalable database offering is just amazing. It's one of those products that go from strength to strength, and I was even lucky enough to interview Rima Nimi on Azure Fireside Chat right here on the Acloud Guru platform. But I digress. This week, a new recommendations feature for Cosmos DB was launched. Because there are so many new features released all the time, a notification for the new feature or service will show in your Azure portal. You can find them on the Cosmos DB Blade or in the Azure Advisor. And so far, the recommendations include topics like partitioning, indexing, network security, and more. <sighs> I can't protect you anymore this week. Sorry. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when I've opened the 2001 VB script file with the I love you virus, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.